Hello, my name is Bilal Sukkar. This video introduces uh, the diffusion areas model or macro adoption model A. One of five uh, models covering macro uh, adoption. If you'd like to, to review all five uh, in a short video, please use the video link at the bottom right here. This model and other models have been published in collaboration with Dr. Muhammad Qasim of Teesside University. And the diffusion areas model clarifies the extent of BIM diffusion across markets. So, so it's not really enough to measure uh, the number of uh, software sold within a market uh, um, or what people claim to be, uh, you know, to be at what level of, uh, of BIM implementation. So we need uh, a, a more robust uh, model to help us to identify the extent of BIM diffusion. And in order to, 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 to measure that, we need to overlay a couple of previous models uh, introduced earlier. So we have to overlay something called the BIM fields and another model called BIM stages. And I'll, I'll explain these two in a second. So BIM fields refer to all topics across the, the BIM domain. So we've got three main fields. We've got the technology field, uh, which includes uh, topics like um, uh, software, hardware, and networks. We've got the policy field, uh, which includes things like insurance, uh, guides, uh, protocols, a uh, better process field, which includes topics like uh, leadership, uh, HR management, uh, etc. So we use these fields to, to, to identify all the topics that need to be assessed. So when we're assessing BIM, really, we're assessing all topics. We're not just assessing software, we're assessing uh, hardware, we're assessing uh, uh, the protocols, the standards, we're assessing HR policies and HR protocols. We overlay these uh, fields with uh, BIM stages, and BIM stages uh, refer to the minimum capability or uh, you know, performance milestones. Um, and uh, there are three main um, stages, BIM stages, which are the modeling. So a company could uh, be uh, object-based modeling, so they're only using uh, software to model, or they are using um, model-based collaboration, so they are collaborating with each other by you know, exchanging, interchanging, Models, or they are using a network, or they are at network-based integration, or they're using some kind of network uh, solution, a uh, model server, in order to integrate uh, models uh, together and to generate uh, specific deliverables. So we've got stages and got fields. Uh, if you'd like to, to learn more about stages and fields, I recommend uh, you watch uh, the videos covering fields and stages using the links provided below. Now. We've got BIM fields, so we're overlaying BIM fields, all the topics that need to be understood uh, with respect uh, to um, uh, BIM. And we've got stages. So fields, we've got technology field, we've got the process field, and we've got policy field. On the stages side, we've got modeling, collaboration, and integration. So the process, the same, we're gonna do the same, we're gonna overlay these. There's a process here, I've got policy here, and we're going to overlay them. So what we get by overlaying fields and stages is that at the bottom right here, we've got something called modeling technologies. Here we've got collaboration technologies. Here we've got integration technology. So within the technology field, we've got modeling, collaboration, and integration. Within uh, the um, uh, modeling um, here, we've got modeling processes. Uh, we've got collaboration processes and we've got integration processes. So here we're looking at processes, but at, at three um, stages of BIM uh, implementation or capability. While here at the policies, we're looking at modeling policies, collaboration policies, and integration policies. So for example, if we look at the modeling uh, technologies, we know that using software like uh, Revit or Tecla, we can measure uh, the diffusion of uh, these technologies within an organization and across a market. Collaboration technologies, we can look at uh, you know, uh, model viewers or, or, uh, uh, or, met, or maybe types of uh, uh, common data environments for collaboration, how diffused they are within a market. Integration technologies, we can look at model servers and the federated modeling environments. Also, we can measure these. At the processes, we can look at modeling processes, so within uh, organizations, uh, whether there are defined modeling uh, processes, 
Uh, we can look if, you know, just in order to for model management, we can also measure collaboration processes so for exchanging and interchanging models. And we can look also at integration process for integrating models using the federated modeling environment. Same, uh, when I look at policies, we can look at modeling policies. Are there policies uh, that, uh, you know, and standards for, for objects or, or, or protocols for, for modeling or insurance to allow the use of uh, modeling technologies and exchanging of models and collaboration for collaboration or we'll also we'll look at if there are insurance policies for integration. So really we've got nine areas to measure. In, we can look at a company and we can measure it using these nine areas and then we can measure multiple companies using the same nine areas in order to have a much clearer view of the extent of BIM diffusion first within a company then across companies uh, and thus by aggregating uh, these uh, this information we can understand the extent of BIM diffusion across a market. So this is a, a sample uh, chart uh, looking at uh, market A you know, I, let's say uh, we measure uh, a certain percentage of um, companies within a market, and we can, uh, as, as a sample results here, you can see that 81% of uh, these companies uh, have uh, capability, uh, a, a stage one um, capability. So we've got, they've got uh, modeling technologies are being adopted. Let's say, for example, here we can, we can say that 81% use some kind of BIM-enabled software tool, like uh, Brevet, RTK, Tech Lab, et cetera. Well, we'll notice for other um, areas that the scores are a bit lower, but this gives us an indication of a market. So how much in this specific market has modeling technologies and modeling processes and modeling policies uh, diffused or collaboration uh, technologies, collaboration processes and collaboration and collaboration uh, policies, the uh, same with regards to um, integration. So we can use this to, to generate a snapshot of a market, and then we can use, by assessing different markets, we, we can uh, compare these markets. And if you'd like to read more about this model and other macro adoption models, please uh, refer to the Macro BIM Adoption Conceptual Structures journal paper, and you can review the introductory video. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe to the BIM Framework channel. Thank you for attending.